welcome or welcome back to my channel i am javana shantia and if you are new welcome come on in come on in come hang up your coats and if you are returning what's going on but in today's video i will be sharing with you my wedding elopement ceremony and the reason as to why we have decided to elope so stay tuned tune is because it got real okay in a split second it got real but before we get into this video like hit the red subscribe button and comment down below so guys here's the tea here's the tea as to why me and my husband have decided to elope okay so we got engaged in 2020 november 23rd 2020 and our original wedding date was supposed to have been november 23rd 2021 however in 2021 both ethan and i moved from the bahamas to canada and it was a rocky road the road was so rough <laughs> listen to me when i tell you from the time when we would have had applied until September, <laughs> it was rough, okay? But anyhow, long story short, um, COVID had came, COVID was here from 2020, but we was hoping and praying that COVID would have had left. But COVID had its own plans and it did not. Your girl was just being very disrespectful. So it stayed and it's still here. So we didn't make any plans after we knew that we was going to be moving. We would we didn't make any plans because we knew that planning a wedding plus moving and situation was not the best fit for us at that time. And also, like we don't have any family members here in Canada. And all of our family members are back home in the Bahamas. So, we originally was going to have a destination wedding. So, coming to Canada wouldn't have been an issue for the family. But Canada's borders and airports were still closed. And they literally opened up October. October 1st, September something. The end of September, October, whatever. For, but they opened up in October for foreign nationals. So... My birthday was in October. I'm a Libra, guys. Yeah, I'm a Libra. Anyhow, so my birthday was in October. And then, like, I'm born. My birthday's on October the 14th. And maybe, like, three or four days after my birthday, Bay was like, Miss, I don't know what you're going to do, but I ain't going to the next year without you being my wife. And I'm like, how that can happen, you know? <laughs> and he's like, I don't know what you're going to do, but you got to get, you got to do what you got to do. So. I was like, okay, and we already know that, you know, our date, November 23rd was going to be our date regardless. Whether it's 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2030, it don't matter. It was going to be our date regardless, right? So, because I already knew that, that was our set date, it was like less than three weeks, less than a month. I would say less than a month to pretty much find out some information, do some research, Anyhow, so I was like, okay, you want to elope? And he was like, like I said, I don't care what you do, but this year was just too rough. And we ain't going into next year as a couple of us were going into next year married. And I was like, okay, that's what you want. That's what you're going to get, you know? So, your boy knows his girl. He knows his woman, you know? Like, he know I'm going to make it happen regardless. We're going to make it happen. So... I think it was like October 20th, honestly, when he said this to me. And October 20th to November 23rd, that time period, that's like three weeks, almost four weeks or whatever. So I did my research. I was finding information as to if we would elope, where we would do it, what we would wear, you know. And I found this lady and I messaged her and I was like, hey, yada, yada. I'm interested in doing a ceremony on this date at this time. And she was like, okay, I'm available, yada, yada. And I was like, okay, that was nice, fast, smooth, and easy. You know, that was painless, <laughs> right? And every day, every day, I'd be to work and I'd be looking up dresses or suits or whatever. But Because I know I wasn't going to wear no white dress. 
I was like, okay, green was our original color, so we just wear green. Um, we made it happen in less than three weeks, and your girl was married. <laughs> your girl was married in less than three weeks, but I called up my mom and his mom because she was like, we need two witness. The lady who I had messaged, she was like, we need two witness. And she was like, she could provide witness, but we have to pay. And I was like, if we have to pay witness, just think we might as well just bring our parents over because those are the two most important people in our lives. And we wouldn't have it any other way if we was deciding to do, make such a huge decision and go ahead and do it with them rather than without them. So we just um told them, I called my mommy on the phone. I was like, hey, I need you in Canada on or before November 27th. And she was like, okay, look at the look up the tickets. And I go, I leave them mom and said the same thing. I didn't even give her no explanation. I didn't tell them, hey, we trying to get married, nothing. I didn't tell them anything. Okay, when I say I called the both of them and we was like, hey, you know, um, we was like, hey, the borders just open up. We need you on in Canada on or before November 22nd. And then the both of them were like, Okay, look up the tickets and let me know. And then Ethan's mom called us back like two days later and she was like, What are the dates? I said Anytime, I think November 20th to, to the 30th, pretty much. So she's like, okay, she just put in for vacation and boom. Um, <laughs> November 21st, they were both here. No questions asked, nothing, no explanations, no excuses. They both hopped on the plane and they were here. And then when we picked them up from the airport, we told them that this is what we're going to do. And we wouldn't want anybody else here rather than y'all. So that was why we told y'all, you know, we didn't tell anybody else because... Having people come within that short period of time wasn't going to work. Honestly, like all family members, the expense, looking up um, places to stay, cars, everything, plus tickets were skyrocketing high because the country had just opened and yeah, everything was very expensive. So we wasn't trying to, I wasn't trying to have any stress with getting my entire family here because I know it was impossible and I wasn't trying to stress my family in trying to get here because they would have made it possible but <laughs> yeah so that was the whole rundown as to why we eloped do i regret it no not at all i'll do it again and not again and again i'll do it all over again that's the whole rundown as to why we eloped because yeah ethan was like you know, we got to do this after going through so much what we've been through in that year. You know, we just, we just try to be at peace and move forward with our lives and get so started pretty much. So, yeah, guys, we did a thing in less than three weeks. Every day, a package was being delivered to my door. My landlord was so mad. My landlord was mad. I know they was mad because they was getting tired dropping them pockets of time instead. <laughs> they was getting tired, but it's okay. It's okay. Now y'all know why. Okay, if y'all ever watch this video, if y'all are listening to me, y'all know why. So I apologize and thank you for delivering our packages on time. So yes, guys, that is the tea as to why we eloped. And in the next clip, you'll be seeing our small, intimate, mighty, and powerful ceremony that had taken place on November 23rd, 2021. A good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. It's having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It's standing together facing the world. It's forming a circle of love that is gathered in the whole family. It's doing things for one another, not just in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It's speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It's looking for perfection in each other.
It's common search for the good and the beautiful, and it's establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, the dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It's not only marrying the right partner, but it's really about being the right partner and discovering what your marriage can be when it's at its best. So welcome everyone. My name is Reverend Hall, and today I have the honor of performing this small, chilly, cold, and mighty <laughs> ceremony. <laughs> On behalf of Travana and Ethan, welcome and thank you for being here as we make everything official. I know this pandemic, I said the word, sorry, has been <laughs> such a defining factor for all of us. And it's really, I think almost, I feel like a little bit like God said, you're grounded, everybody go to their room and don't come mm -hmm. out until you are ready to say sorry, clean mm -hmm. up the planet and be nice to each other. <laughs> but it really honestly has allowed all of us to look at the most important features of our lives and figure out what's the most important. And um, I know you two have embraced quarantine and somehow, I don't know how you did it because I would have throttled my partner, <laughs> but you emerged with more gratitude for your life, for your health, for your friends and family, and for one another. And I know today, besides wanting you to feel warm, they want you to feel their love <laughs> and know how much they appreciate you on this special day. So what I so, Ethan and Travana want you to, the two of you beautiful ladies to know. They shared with me that they would never have made it to today without the incredible love, support, and guidance of their moms. You provided them with the foundation to begin their life together and taught them the importance of love and friendship, patience, compassion, forgiveness, laughter, and really exemplifying for them what family can actually be and you set values for them to live by. And I know that Trevana and Ethan only know a fraction of the sacrifices that have been made on their behalf, but they really are truly grateful for the lives that they have. And for, from all of us and from them and from another mom, raised by another mom, thank you so much because these two are very lovely people. You did a good job. Continuing on the current path of love, support, kindness, curiosity, and life fulfillment until the bitter end. <laughs> <laughs> Will you promise yourselves that you're going to, despite your best efforts, you're going to continue to make mistakes, and that you're going to continue to have odd, weird little habits that will drive each other crazy? That you'll also have humor, humility, and graciousness for your own shortcomings, as well as forgiveness for the other. And will you do your very best to remember that these challenges arise? Because they will. It's not that your marriage isn't working. It's that marriage looks like that sometimes. Will you, look, will you do that for me? Yes. <laughs> Good. Okay, this is a point where in a movie you'd say, Does anybody know why these two... <laughs> we don't do that anymore? Ethan, 
I love you for who you are and who <laughs> and who I am with you. From this day forth, I fully and joyfully join my life with yours. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you face, I will face. I will care for you should you become ill. I will comfort you should you feel sad. I will bathe in your joy. I am yours completely and forever. I take you as my husband, partner for life, and I will give myself to no other. It's Ethan Trivana. In the presence of this good company on this crisp November day, you have expressed your love to one another through the commitment and promises that you've just made. From today, your friends, your family, community, and indeed the whole world will know you as partners through life, adventurers, co-conspirators, and soulmates. Therefore, it's my profound honor and delight to declare you henceforth by the, the powers vested in me by the Holy Ordinance in the province of Ontario to be husband and wife. You may seal your love with a kiss. Yeah. 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 Yeah.